Messy SQL does not just waste compute. It keeps you off of high impact projects. Fix it, prove it, and you get promoted. A mid to senior jump commonly adds around 30K a year. Today, I'm gonna show you what to fix and how to measure it. Which hidden costs are in your queries right now, blocking your promotion path? A daily report ran for 14 minutes. I opened up the execution. I saw two full table scans, a wide broadcast join, a wide projection, and this is what I did to fix that. I pre-aggregated the orders once, forced the join on customer ID with the inner join and with fresh stats. I listed only the columns that we actually needed. Then the runtime dropped to 40 seconds. I got pulled into higher visibility projects and quickly got promoted. Let's take a look at some bad SQL statements and how to refactor them. Here's the first one. Why is this bad? The inner sum runs once per customer row. That means on large tables that millions and millions of repeated scans occur and aggregations. Let's take a look at this refactor. Why is this better? We have one grouped pass over the orders, then a join. This is cleaner, faster, and more maintainable. Let's talk about the efficiency impacts here. The compute impact for tables that didn't have pre-existing indexes is two to six times faster. For those that didn't have indexes, 50 times more efficient. Scenario two, let's take a look at this bad SQL. Why is this bad? Well, because row stores read extra pages here and the column stores, they can only prune if you're listing the columns. Let's take a look at the refactor. Why is this better? We have column pruning and smaller projections. Column pruning and smaller projections cut memory and the byte scant. So efficiency gains here for row store databases, it is 1.3 to two times quicker. For columnar databases, up to 10 times faster. That is a huge efficiency gain. Let's take a look at this next one. Here's a bad SQL statement. Why is this bad? Wrapping a column in a function blocks index usage. Sometimes people don't realize that. This will force full scans. You don't want that. Scans, bad. Here's the refactor. Why is this better? Because index seek or partition pruning equals much fewer bytes. So here is the efficiency gain. This is typically five times faster and up to 50 times quicker when it's selective. Let's take a look at another one. Here is the bad SQL. Why is this bad? Because there are two full passes and we're doubling the cost here. Let's take a look at this refactor. Why is this better? We have one pass, half the time. The efficiency gain here is exactly what you think it is. It is 50% time saved in your compute, in your cost, in the speed that you get promoted. We're taking a look at this next SQL statement. This is the bad example. Take a look at this for a moment. This is why it's bad. That average is being recomputed every time. So results aren't being reused. This adds extra scans. And again, scans bad. Refactor with a window function here. Window functions, if you haven't taken a look at them, check out the video in the upper right hand corner of your screen right there and i'll put a link up there for you this is why it's better there's a global average that's computed once and then it's reused everywhere join planning is incredibly straightforward here so it's just not just again more efficient but more maintainable as you see through a lot of these maintainability is almost as important as that efficiency of the query itself so Efficiency wise here, this is 1.3 to two times faster by removing those redundant scans that were occurring in that first query. Here is another bad example. This one, there are so many inefficiencies going on here. 
So let's talk about those. Here, we are going to take a look at why it's bad. First thing, select all. Select star is, don't use select star. You want to make sure that you are explicitly defining the fields that you want to return. And then we have a non-sargeable state. We have leading wildcards. There is just a stack of inefficiencies going on here. Leading wildcards are bad because again, like adding a function to a where statement, you are killing that SQL, that database engine's ability to use indexes. Let's take a look at this refactor. Why this one is better. We are doing some column pruning. Again, explicitly define the columns that you want to use. We have an indexable range. Again, getting rid of that leading wildcard. We are using prefix, you know, the prefix search is using the index again. So because we're killing that wildcard at the beginning, we enable that SQL database engine's ability to use the indexing that's already there. Disable your caches, time a cold run, use the explain analyze or query profiling when you are taking a look at the execution. Be sure that you are capturing your runtime, your rows, your bytes that are being scanned, and the operators. So important to do this so that you can take that information and explain it back to your boss, to your stakeholders, on your resume, and that understanding is how you get into a senior position. Here are three steps to upgrade your SQL and your comp. Audit with intent. Find full scans. Find your blocked indexes. Find those wide projections and take care of those just like we did in those previous queries we talked about. Refactor for fewer passes. Pre-aggregate once. Join instead of row by row type select statements like we looked at in that first query. Bring the receipts. Again, like we talked about, save before and after timings and your plans, and then use them in your merit increase reviews and in any reviews that you may have with your boss. Faster queries, bigger projects equal higher salaries, cleaner SQL, visible impact, promotion fuel. Here are some mistakes that you need to avoid when you're taking a look at this. Don't optimize everything and don't optimize the wrong things. Find the biggest impact that you can make. Don't waste the time on jobs that just cost pennies. Copy paste tuning. Don't do it. What is good for Snowflake isn't necessarily good for Postgres and vice versa. Be sure that you are validating with examining those execution plans. Here's a bonus. Type mismatches, ORs across columns, JSON extraction without indexes. These are things that you could go after make more efficient and make a big impact in your compute cost for your organization, which in turn is going to equal higher salaries and bigger bonuses. Grab the checklist in the description. It's going to show you how to measure and present wins so that they can turn into raises. And if you're new to SQL, start with the fundamentals in this video right here that will help you ramp up quickly and not make the mistakes that I did when I was first learning.